Hey guys, this is a quick video about the Skyward Pride Greatsword or Claymore. This is a 5 star weapon. I was lucky enough to pull it, so I figured I would do a video on it. Okay, so, looking at the sword itself, it says it increases all damage by 8%, which is huge. And then it says, after using an elemental burst, normal or charged attack, a vacuum blade is created and it does 80% of attack as damage. Okay. Now that part isn't necessarily accurate, um, because if you see her, I'm swinging with her and there's no magical um, vacuum blade appeared. Uh, okay. So even if we're hitting an enemy with it, you'll see that the vacuum blade doesn't appear. And it doesn't appear on a charge attack either. So it's not quite accurate as you can see. However, if you use an elemental burst, even without hit, like even without hitting an enemy, you can see it's appeared. Okay, so that's that's how it works. Use an elemental burst, it appears. If I attack the enemies now from a distance, so I'm not actually touching them, you'll see there's no magical vacuum blade going towards the enemy, like the Holy Moonlight Sword in Bloodborne, for example. That's not quite how it works. If you hit an enemy though, as you saw there, the shockwave does appear. So, it does work as described in a way, just if you're using it in a specific way. So yeah, um, that's how this weapon works. Now the extra energy burst that comes off the sword, like I say, it only procs when you have, um, after you've used an elemental burst, and if you hit an enemy with it, but it's a fantastic ability. In real terms, for my character, it does 67.5% extra damage. That's kind of what the vacuum blade bit does for me. I've tested it with different pieces of gear, so my attack has changed and my physical damage has changed, and it's, it's always exactly 67.5% additional damage. Okay, so it's a very powerful, um, it's very, very, it's a very good damage increase. So I'll just show you on this enemy here, to get my ult, and then I will attack it with a vacuum blade. And if you look behind the enemy when I hit it, you'll see that that wave of energy um, will, will, will appear. Um, so I'm just going to grab my ultimate so I can proc it. So I'll ultimate here. Okay, and I'll actually... So as you, as you can see behind the enemy, there's that wave. You see that wave coming over? That's the... That is the wave. Okay, so on the next enemy, what I'll do is I, or what, what I can do is I can switch from Razor to uh, to another character and then switch back. So that wolf form, which is part of his ultimate move or part of his elemental burst, disappears because that's how the character works. And then we can see the vacuum blade in a vacuum, as it were. Okay, so. There we are, I'll do the animal, elemental burst here, change the dingling, back to Razor, and now we've got the vacuum blade, but no wolf forms, it's easy to see. So you've got that wave coming off it, which is very, very powerful, and then you can also see it hits twice on the same enemy, because it'll hit whatever you want contact with, with your regular attack, and then the vacuum blade thing will hurt as well. So, yeah, fantastic weapon, I like it a lot, especially the Razor. So, this is my gear, just to give you an idea of what, what, you know, this is how hard I'm hitting with it, with this gear. And I want to talk about increasing the effectiveness of this weapon. For me, I've gone with a physical attack damage bonus on the cup. It's a very powerful attack st stat in general for physical users. As you can see, I'm hitting for 1527. It would be the same if you were a mage character and you had an elemental damage bonus. It's the same kind of like value of stats as it were, but this is the best way I've found to get value from it, and I'm going to go into why. Okay, so I'll just show you the difference between using a physical damage bonus artifact and using another attack one. So this time round, we have 34% extra attack, or we have an artifact with 34% extra attack, and we're going to go ahead and hit an enemy with this. Okay, so to skip ahead with the commentary here, so I can kind of explain the numbers to you guys. Um, a 34% attack bonus on this character right now yields 16% extra damage. The physical damage bonus item 
yields 37% extra damage. So we're getting more than double um, of the extra damage from a physical damage bonus piece. They're both the same, same star rating and you're getting so much more value from that physical damage bonus. So that's a tip for you guys um, to increase your damage overall. So if you want to check that maths, or just to see, see how that's working, I've taken the attack piece off and I also don't have the cup on. So this time I don't have the physical damage bonus and I don't have the attack bonus. I'm going to go ahead and attack the enemy and we're going to hit for 1,130. So you can see that with the 34% attack, we had 1,290, which is 16% extra. And with the physical damage, we did 1,527, which was 37% damage extra. Okay. So, what what I kind what what it means to me is that when I'm using the proc on the sword in his like ultimate, it hits twice. Regardless of your stats, it hits for 67 and a half percent extra damage. So if you're getting a you know a big physical damage bonus, that directly applies to the proc. An electric damage bonus wouldn't do that. And no kind of elemental would do that. Only the physical damage affects the proc. So to increase the value of the proc, I think increasing attack and physical damage bonus is uh, is key. Which is why I think if you're using this sword, you want to use a physical damage bonus item to increase the value. Yeah, that kind of wraps up um, how I use this sword and, and how it works. Um, I hope that was interesting, guys. Have a good day.